Aviation has always been about defying limits, pushing faster, flying farther, and reaching heights once thought impossible. Today, a new wave of revolutionary aircraft is taking that spirit to the next level. From sleek supersonic jets that could halve transcontinental travel times to futuristic blended wing airliners promising zero emissions, these cutting edge creations are rewriting the rules of flight. Some hover like drones, others roar past the speed of sound, and a few seem pulled straight from science fiction. They're not just machines, they're bold visions of the future, built by engineers daring enough to chase the impossible. Boom Overture. The Overture is like a dream resurrected, but this time with sharper tools, sustainability in mind, and a clear roadmap. Designed to carry about 65 to 80 passengers, cruise at Mach 1.7, and fly around 4,250 nautical miles, it promises to cut long haul travel times dramatically. What impresses most is the ambition. Boom aims to use 100% sustainable aviation fuel. SAF, build with composite materials, and have a flight deck that leans heavily into modern avionics and pilot feedback design. The Overture Superfactory in Greensboro, North Carolina is already completed, giving concrete proof, literally, that boom is serious. But it's not without big challenges. Designing a new engine, securing certification by 2029, achieving noise limits, and keeping costs reasonable will all be steep mountains to climb. If Boom hits its marks, though, this could be the closest thing we've had in decades to Concorde's promise. Only smarter, greener, and more accessible. Natalis Horizon The Natalis Horizon feels like a breath of fresh air in aviation, with ambition, elegance, and purpose. Designed to carry about 200 passengers across intercontinental legs like New York to London, it swaps the traditional tube and wing layout for a blended wing body shape, aiming to burn approximately 30% less fuel and cut emissions by half compared to current narrow body jets. Inside, Horizon promises comfort reimagined, wider 20-inch economy seats, lofty 7.5-foot ceilings, video conference pods, and club seating where families or groups can face one another. And despite its radical shape, it's designed to use existing airport gates and infrastructure, which keeps the big dream grounded in reality. Will the horizon make it by the early 2030s? That's the risky part, but even if it takes longer, what it's bringing to the table already feels like a glimpse of aviation's better future. Electra X Surf Air Mobility the Electra Times Surf Air Mobility Partnership represents a compelling leap forward in regional air travel. By combining Electra's hybrid electric ESTOL, electric short takeoff and landing, aircraft, with Surf Air's tech driven, on demand platform and its aircraft as a service model, the collaboration promises more affordable, sustainable, and flexible service. A key highlight the ESTOL aircraft can take off and land in about 150 feet, opening up flights to smaller airstrips and even non-airport environments. Early delivery of 90 Electra aircraft has been secured, which shows commitment to scale. Demonstrations at Virginia Tech illustrate strong operational potential, though full commercial deployment is some years away. Overall, this partnership could reshape regional mobility if regulatory, certification, and infrastructure hurdles are successfully navigated. The Auto Phantom 3500 is a bold vision for the future of business aviation. It aims to combine luxury, environmental responsibility, and high performance in one sleek package. With a windowless cabin replaced by high-definition display screens, supernatural vision, the design reduces drag allowing cruise speeds near Mach 0.78 to 0.80 and a projected range around 3,200 to 3,500 nautical miles. Its cabin is capacious, featuring a stand-up height of about 6 feet 5 inches, flat floor, and modular layout for comfort. Fuel efficiency is the star. Auto claims up to 30 to 40 percent less fuel burn compared with typical super mid-sized jets, plus lower operating costs. 
That said, as of now, it remains under development, with first flight expected in 2027 and full certification by 2030. Overall, the Phantom 3500 promises real innovation. If the engineering and regulatory challenges can be met, it could significantly reshape the market. NASA X-59 NASA's X-59 is a groundbreaking step in making supersonic flight practical over land. Designed to cruise at Mach 1.4, approximately 925 miles per hour, at around 55,000 feet, its goal is to reduce the deafening sonic boom to a mere thump. Its sleek, slender fuselage, including an elongated nose nearly a third of the aircraft's 100-foot length, helps spread out and soften shockwaves. The cockpit lacks a traditional forward window. Instead, pilots rely on an external vision system, cameras plus display, to see ahead. Early ground and taxi tests suggest the X-59 is meeting expectations for noise reduction, engine performance, and control systems. While the first flight still awaits, it represents a promising path toward quieter supersonic travel if regulatory, safety, and cost hurdles are cleared. Pipistrel Nuva V-300 The Pipistrel Nuva V-300 is an unmanned hybrid electric VTOL vertical takeoff and landing, cargo aircraft designed to transform medium-range logistics. It features eight electric motors for lift and a single internal combustion engine for forward propulsion. With a typical payload of around 300 kilograms, approximately 660 pounds, and ability to carry up to three Euro pallets, the V300 aims at efficient, flexible operations. Its typical mission range reaches close to 300 nautical miles, making it suitable for regional delivery, humanitarian missions, and operations from unprepared sites. Featuring a triple redundant fly-by-wire control system and full autonomy from ground station dispatch, it blends modern avionics with operational simplicity. Volanut Airbike the Volanaut Airbike is a radical leap forward in personal air mobility, merging sci-fi aesthetics with daring engineering. It's a single-person, open-air superbike for the skies, powered by jet propulsion, not propellers. Built from carbon fiber and 3D printed parts, it's reportedly about seven times lighter than a typical superbike, boosting maneuverability and responsiveness. The Airbike achieves speeds up to 124 miles per hour in advanced mode, though regulatory compliant versions may be capped lower. Its stabilization system and flight computer enable hover, balance, and control, helping a novice rider stay stable in the air. Drawbacks? Flight duration is short, around 10 minutes, and noise from jet engines plus limited availability and high cost are clear barriers. Overall, the airbike delivers a thrilling preview of what personal flight could feel like, if you can make the trade-offs. Alia 250 The Beta Alia 250 is a promising EV-tall aircraft that blends vertical takeoff flexibility with fixed wing efficiency. Designed by Beta Technologies, it has a 50-foot wingspan, carbon fiber fuselage, and payload capacity of about 1,400 pounds or space for six including a pilot. Its range is up to approximately 250 nautical miles, approximately 460 kilometers, with a top speed near 138 miles per hour. A major milestone came when it successfully completed a full transition flight, hover to cruise to hover, with a pilot on board. Strengths include its dual role capabilities, cargo or passenger, relatively quiet operation, and its design inspired by the Arctic turn for efficiency. On the downside, commercial certification is still pending, infrastructure for rapid charging must scale, and costs may be high. EVE EV Tall. The EVE EV Tall, developed by Embraer's EVE Air Mobility, is shaping up to be a strong contender in urban air mobility. It features a lift plus cruise configuration with eight vertical rotors for vertical takeoff and landing, fixed wings for efficient cruise, and dual electric motor pushers. At launch, it will carry four passengers plus pilot with provision for up to six passengers once autonomous uncrewed operation is enabled. Its expected range is about 60 miles, approximately 100 kilometers, and cruising speed around 125 miles per hour, approximately 201 kilometers per hour. EVE has hit important milestones. 
full-scale prototype rollout in 2024, wind tunnel tests, and supplier selection. The design emphasizes safety and affordability, with noise reduction, simplified mechanical structure, and a fly-by-wire system derived from Embraer's expertise. Challenges remain in certification, infrastructure, and battery tech, but EVE is among the most credible EV tolls likely to be in service by 2026. Cavarite X7 The Cavarite X7 is a hybrid EV tall that bridges the gap between helicopters and conventional aircraft with a blend of ambitious design and practical engineering. Its standout innovation is the fan-in-wing system. 14 battery-powered lift fans embedded in wings and forward canards for vertical takeoff landing, which retract or close during forward flight. The aircraft targets a cruise speed around 250 miles per hour and range of roughly 500 miles with reserves, far exceeding many pure electric EV tolls. Payload is strong, six passengers plus pilot. Useful load, approximately 1,500 pounds depending on mode. Its safety emphasis, redundant fans, weather, icing capability, IFR slash VFR certification aims, bolsters its real-world viability. While still in development, the X7 is shaping up as a serious contender for regional air mobility, medevac, and mixed passenger cargo roles. Joby S4 the Joby S4 is shaping up to be one of the most capable electric air taxis in development. It carries one pilot plus four passengers, powered by six tilt propellers that allow vertical takeoff and efficient forward flight. Its cruise speed is about 200 miles per hour, with a range up to 100 to 150 miles, depending on mission and reserves. The aircraft adopts advanced battery tech, lithium nickel cobalt manganese oxide cells, distributed electric propulsion for better redundancy, and large windows for a more passenger-friendly cabin. On the downside, certification is still underway. Achieving FAA-type approval and scaling manufacturing are hurdles. But with solid backing, clear design maturity, and a target to begin service in 2025, the S4 stands out among its peers. Lilium Jet The Lilium Jet is an ambitious seven-seat AVTOL designed for regional air mobility blending vertical takeoff and landing with efficient cruise flight. It uses distributed propulsion, dozens of small electric ducted fans embedded in fixed wings and canards, without vertical stabilizers or ailerons, relying on vectoring and fly-by-wire control. Lilium is targeting a range of about 95 to 109 nautical miles for its full-scale model, with six passengers plus a pilot. One strong point is its low noise footprint, due to ducted fans and wing embedding, plus a compact wingspan that lets it use many existing heliports. Challenges remain, battery energy density, certification path, and ensuring real-world performance match design promises. Odys Aviation. Odys Aviation is carving out a bold niche in the future of air travel. Based in California, it is developing hybrid electric VTOL aircraft aimed at cutting travel time and emissions on regional routes. Their aircraft are planned to serve nine passengers plus two pilots, with up to 200 miles of all-electric range and a total hybrid electric range reaching approximately 750 miles. Key strengths include strong early order interest, over 1,200 LOIs, strategic partnerships in the UAE, next-gen FDI, and collaborations for cargo operations with firms like Aramax, on the flip side, the technology is still under development, with full-scale prototype expected approximately 2025 and entry into service by 2027. Certification, infrastructure, and regulatory approval remain big challenges. In short, Otis Aviation presents a promising path toward more sustainable, long-range VTOL travel, if its ambitious targets are met. SkyDrive SD 05. The SkyDrive SD05 is a compact Japanese-made eVTOL designed to bring urban air taxi service closer to reality. It seats one pilot plus two passengers, powered by 12 rotors and electric motors. Its cruise speed is modest, approximately 100 kilometers per hour, with a range aimed at 9 to 25 miles, 
making it suitable for short hops, not long journeys. Safety is boosted via its distributed electric propulsion, and panel strength is enhanced with carbon fiber composite materials. SkyDrive has already started production with Suzuki, targeting mid-2020s market availability, including demo flights in 2025. While its range and speed are limited, the SD05's strengths are in its accessibility, low noise, rooftop touch, vertiport operations, and its design award, most accessible flying car. Supernal SA2 the Supernal SA-2 is a promising electric vertical takeoff and landing EV Toll aircraft developed by Hyundai's Supernal division. Designed for urban air mobility, it accommodates one pilot and four passengers. The SA-2 features a V-tail configuration with eight all-tilting rotors, enabling efficient vertical and horizontal flight. Its anticipated cruising speed is 120 miles per hour, 193 kilometers per hour, with an initial range of 60 miles, 97 kilometers, making it suitable for short urban trips. The aircraft operates quietly, with noise levels below 65 decibels A during takeoff and landing, and under 45 decibels A during cruise, comparable to the noise of a dishwasher. Supernal plans to commence commercial operations by 2028, aiming to revolutionize urban transportation.